Hey guys, I am recording on a screen for once. Okay, and I just want to say something really quickly. Thank you guys so much for four subscribers. Like, honestly, I'm gonna go check when I actually started my channel. And I'm gonna use. I'm actually gonna update my description really quickly. So, okay, so I just updated my description. Okay, so basically, to install, this is a tutorial on how to install GPTD. So, first, you need to go to this website, mayforest.com. I'm gonna link that in the description. And you do not want to hit install to be too bad. That's for iOS. And you normally get that on Blade. You can get 2P2D Magic um, on like Google Play Store. But I'm going to get 2P2D, 2 b 2 Desk because that's what I use. Well, that's what, it's not what I used to use. But now you're going to go ahead and fill all this out. I am not going to fill this out on camera for obvious reasons. Actually, I'm not going to fill this out because I already have the email for it. But basically, you just fill this out so that they can get your email. And you have to hit agree with it. Then when you hit download it, um, they're going to send you the download link via email. And I'm going to skip over um, me looking at my email to get it. Okay, so there's basically going to be like a 321 thing that goes here. And then after that, your download will just start. And now, if it's when it's done installing, um, you're gonna hit save. Save. I'm gonna hit save for now. You can hit run if you um want to run it immediately and get it on your desktop later. But I'm gonna get it on my desktop as soon as possible so that I can have the convenience of knowing where it is as soon as possible. Now it is in 2D, it is in beta, I mean, but yeah, so once that's done, you're gonna hit open folder, and the thing is, um, this is actually like, this isn't, that's not what you were going to put it, that's not what you're gonna put as your, um, application, that's what this is. And I'm gonna go ahead and quickly uninstall. Um, very fast. Well, I mean, I guess you could use this for your main application, but that would mean you'd have to set up the install wizard every single time. But what you're going to do is you're going to open this up. You're going to open this up. And then, let's, and then eventually, whenever your computer is done loading, I'm going to minimize this for now. Um, okay, so I'm just going to pause. I'm just going to wait until... And there it is. So then you're going to hit yes. And then it's going to pop up this. And yeah, so you need at least 141 megabytes of free disk space. And I do have that. Okay, so I'm going to hit browse because I want it to be on my desktop. So I'm going to go in this and hold it. And I'm going to go into files. So basically what you can do is you can go into downloads and then just, yeah, it's just in this PC and then download. So I guess I could just put in downloads. But, um, if you can't really do that, then just do program files 86 and 2p2. And, okay. <coughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. And basically... If you can't really find the desktop thing, which I don't even know if they do allow the desktop thing. I don't think they do. But yeah, so you're just going to use that and then hit next. And I'm going to hit next again. And yeah, so this just basically runs like, hey, you sure? This is the destination location. This is where it's going to end up. And this is the starter, start menu folder where it's going to be too. Okay, then you're going to hit install. And then you just wait until it installs. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like when it is done. You're just going to want to hit finish. And then there's going to be a shortcut right here. 
then you basically just open this up and that will come up every single time. It's not just like a bug with your computer that, oh no, no, it's happening. That's just kind of something it does. Oh, there. And why is this opening up for several weeks? Okay, now it's there. Okay, now it's normal. Okay, so, yeah. You aren't. You don't really need that. That's just tip of the day thing. And then you're going to hit File, New Project, and it's completely just it. And basically, you can. I do 11080 because, and FPS at 30. It does kind of have an old school aesthetic, but 30. Not zero. 30 and then boom. Now that you can hit OK. But, and then eventually it will open up. And then you got this. But if you don't like that type of view, then there's like this button right here. And yeah, so this is kind of the view where it is. So you could like zoom it down or you can make it go like only 25. Or you can make it only zoom in like. Oh, it also resets every time, so. Yeah. Or you could just make it, like, zoom in only, like, 25%. Then, but I'm going to set, I always set it to, like, 30 if, oh my gosh, what is this up? Okay. Yeah, I always set it to just 30 because I think, oh my gosh, this always happens. See, this always happens. 30. I type 3, that happens. It's what's supposed to happen, I believe, actually. Okay. But yeah, so I guess 25 is just what it wants me to do. Whenever you want to do that, it hates you when you do that, so it never works on my computer, but it might work on yours. I'm not going to question. Okay, so then you just kind of got this drawing stuff, and you got it down and knocked, and the undo button is pretty much... But I always use, and, um, just standard control Z is undo too. And I don't know if it's control X too. No, nah, it's just control Z hardy, control Z, yeah. Okay, so this is a pretty basic tutorial, but basically, yeah. That's, you can just use this if you're kind of accustomed to this, but I'm gonna use this. It's, this is the exposure sheet. You can exit it out. The timeline, if you exit it out, you pretty much have, like, absolutely no way to tell. I wish I could go like that more, like, if I went like this, but, yeah, the program hates me. And if I type 30, then it's just like, 30. Okay, finally, it's working. Okay. 30, 30 down, so then it's working. Okay. So, 30 is basically just more zoomed in. And also for the brush settings I have, um, you click this to do the brush settings. I think that 30 is a bit too high. I'm going to do, like, 25. And, um, yeah, now I have kind of, like, it is kind of boxy if you're fast dry, but, um, by the way, this is, like, the stylus on my drawing tablet's broken, so, yeah, that can't really work too well, but, Basically, there's the downside of this program is that, like, if I do this, um, then if I go over here and do another one, I can go and play it, and then it's going to play it, like, just play it at, like, 30, and then it's just going to play that, like that. And I think it's, it's a pretty good program if you're just starting out, which I'm kind of in, I am just starting out, but, yeah, so, um, just accept, you have to hit accept, but... Um, the thing is, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of annoyed of it, so I'm just gonna do this real quickly, and then just, um, hit minus, and don't show again. If you never want it to show up again, then what it's gonna do instead, if, if you decide to do it again, then it's not gonna quest, then basically, if I do this again, so, okay, I'm gonna, okay, I'm just gonna say minus. And it's broken. My computer's broken. And of course, since my computer is terrible, it's gonna break. But yeah, that's just kind of standard for me, I guess. 
Okay. And it's gonna completely restart because then okay. Close the program. Close the program, exit out. And boom, now I got just this, so yeah, just again, new file. It's gonna save um most of your stuff. It's well I guess the presets the only thing I really change most of the time is set it to thirty and then it okay and it's gonna load up and then I'm gonna hit this and um yeah. I don't need to smooth this thing. I'm gonna, and then I just make it zoom into thirty and then no, not three hundred. There but boom. Now it's good. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and try to draw my character without anything but yes. But the thing is, let's say you're terrible at drawing circles. Then you can draw ellipse, then you can set it to ellipse and have it draw a circle for you. Then you're good. Okay. This is how I'm draw my character in this program. Basically I just do that and then just do this. Keep from doing and then you basically just <laughs> yeah. If this thing did have like an undo button, then this would probably not be the program I'd be using. I'd, I'd probably just be using like Krita or something like that. Everyone likes Krita. Also, by the way, um, in case you are wondering something like, I don't really care. <laughs> um, if you don't know where the eraser is, well, the thing is. I can't find the eraser either. That's why all the time I just do undo-ness. I just undo it every time. If I do anything that's like off that I don't want. Like that, I guess it's okay. I'll just go like, and put legs on him. And the thing is, um, undo the leg. And yeah, so. Now I'm going to add a new layer. It's right here. Now I'm just going to add the arms in this layer. I normally just have like the arms in a separate layer no matter what I'm really doing. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to do like this. And I'm going to add another layer. Except I'm going to set this layer at the front. Just make it move up. And it's the face. That's terrible, but I mean heck. My drawing tablet. Silas has gotten broken, that's why I haven't really been posting animations, or like, well, I mean, that's why the last, that's why last week, um, I posted the Fortnite live stream, because I was like, it's been about a month since I posted, I, it's been like, it's been three weeks since I've posted an animation, which is almost a month. And the reason for that is because, um, A, I was trying to do a full-blown animation on my iPad, and then my drawing tablet came in, and blah, blah, blah. That turned out exciting. But, yeah, so, this is kind of just turned into a rant, but, yeah, so, that's how I use it. It really doesn't matter how you decide to use it. I'm going to go ahead and don't show this again for every single one, so, except... <laughs> I can just have remove and remove and yeah. So this is how I use um to be tube and yeah. Bye.